most of you would have seen either in shock, fear or even in awe of the videos of Iran launching a barrage of kamikaze drones, cruise and ballistic missiles on Israel, an attack that lasted for five hours on Saturday evening. While such an onslaught of over 300 munitions would have been impossible to counter, the Israeli military announced a day later that 99% of projectiles fired by Iran were intercepted by it and its partners with only a small number of ballistic missiles reaching Israel. In total, around 170 drones, more than 30 cruise missiles and over 120 ballistic missiles were launched at Israel by Iran. Only one girl, God bless her soul, was killed in the attack. Now, countries like the US, the UK, Jordan and even Saudi Arabia helped in destroying several of the drones and some cruise missiles, but the bulk of the counter-offensive role was carried out by Israel's multi-tiered air defense system. Israel's air defense is an eight-tier system that is integrated with one goal, to defend the country from attacks. What about India? India too has a similar multi-layered structure. But unlike Israel, which is spread over just roughly 21,671 square kilometers, India's total area is 32 lakh 87,263 square kilometers. That is from the snow covered Himalayas to the tropical south. Moreover, unlike Israel, India's critical defense and economic targets are spread out and there is no one system that can protect it all. Also, India's air defense system is primarily aimed at either protecting important cities as a whole or individual bases of the three services who use a variety of systems for short and medium range defense. The only operational long distance air defense system that India operates is the S-400 Triumph bought from the Russians and that too aimed at countering attacks coming in from either Pakistan or China in the northern and eastern sector. The overall umbrella setup that has been worked upon is the indigenous ballistic missile defense shield which is currently in the second phase of development. In contrast, Israel has an integrated air defense system. Israel's missile defense organization is a division within the Directorate of Defense Research and Development at the Israel's Ministry of Defense which is responsible for the development, management and improvement of the country's active defense systems. These include interceptors, launchers, radars, command and control systems, network connectivity and more. It was on 6 May 1985 that Israel and the United States signed an MOU, that is Memorandum of Understanding, on the development of a missile defense system against long-range threats. Many of the programs are carried out in close collaboration with the United States Missile Defense Agency and receive joint funding. Private defense industries from both sides also work together to create a full spectrum of air defense. So what are these eight-tiered air defense system of Israel. Now to begin with are manpads. The basic air defense system with the Israeli Defense Forces that is the IDF are the notorious Stinger man portable air defense system that is manpads. The Stinger fired from the shoulder is a battlefield short-range weapon system mainly for low level and slow moving threats like helicopters. The missile has earned its notoriety in Afghanistan when it was used by the Taliban to fight the Russian occupation. However, the latest variants of the Stinger can also target higher and fast flying fixed wing aircraft with about, within about 15,000 feet in air. Besides, of course, cruise missiles and low flying drones. Ukraine has successfully deployed the Stingers against Russian missiles and fighter jets apart from drones. Now, along with the manpads are the Shorats. Israel also operates the MACBET short range air defense system, that is the Shorats. This is a gun and missile system on a self propelled track vehicle based on the M113 armored personal carrier. The missiles on these vehicles are stingers again and can be used against incoming cruise missiles and drones. These vehicles usually travel with the mechanized forces to provide battlefield defenses. And then comes the Spider. Now the Spider family of short, extended, medium, 
long range mobile air defense system that is the ADS is used by Israel against a wide spectrum of threats such as an attack aircraft, helicopters, bombers, cruise missiles, UAVs and standoff weapons. India too operates the spider air defense system that is by the air force. Now comes the iron dome which is the star of the Israeli air defense system. This is a short range system known for taking down largely unguided rockets fired from Palestinian territory. However, with upgrades, it can now take down cruise missiles, drones and more. Operational since 2011, the system has by and large maintained a success rate of above 90% and has even touched 97%. The Iron Dome does not take down every single rocket fired at Israel. Instead, it relies on a system of radar and artificial intelligence to determine whether an incoming rocket is a threat and fires an interceptor only if the incoming rocket risks hitting the populated area or Israeli infrastructure. If there is no such danger, the system ignores it and allows the rocket to land. The Iron Dome missiles, that is the Tamiz, are intended to self-destruct if they do not engage a target. If they do not engage a target, they are developed to burst in close proximity to the incoming object rather than going in for a direct hit. Next comes the David Sling. Sitting right in the center of the Israeli air defense shield is David Sling. It is designed for taking down short-range ballistic missiles at the SRBMs, aircraft, drones and cruise missiles. Each David Sling system has a vertical launcher containing up to 12 stunner interceptor missiles and unlike the Tamiz, comes with next generation seekers which allow the missile to slam into the target. The maneuverable two-stage hit-to-kill stunner missile has no warhead. The interceptor destroys the threat with sheer force of impact. American company Raytheon, which developed it with Israel's Rafale, said that the stunner missile is provided to defeat all short-range ballistic missiles. 92% of the worldwide theater ballistic missile threat inventory as per the company. The primary source of targeting data for David Sling is the Elta ELM 2084-3D Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar, that is the ISA. Now next comes the Patriot Air Defense System. One grade above the David Sling is the American Patriot PAC-2 Air Defense System. While it has been developed as a counter to ballistic missiles, it can, of course, take on other aerial threats. And then there is the Arrow, which is the last and the most lethal in Israel's air defense tier. And this Arrow is intended to take down long-range ballistic missiles. There are two variants, Arrow 2 and Arrow 3. The Arrow 3 was first tested in combat last year after it intercepted a missile fired by the Iranian support Houthis in Yemen towards the Israeli city of Eilat. Unlike Arrow 2, it does not have a warhead and relies on direct impact outside the Earth's atmosphere that is exo-atmospheric. Besides that, the other difference between David Sling and the Patriot is that the Arrow 3 targets the enemy missile in mid-course flight that is while it is flying and not at the terminal stage when the missile is already in the Earth's atmosphere and hurling down. Israel uses both the variants of the missile. Now, there is another layer which is coming up, which is the Iron Beam. The Iron Beam is a new directed energy air defense system that is still being tested by Israel. This will not replace the Iron Dome, but will complement it. The 100 kilowatt Iron Beam is designed to neutralize rockets, artilleries, and mortars besides unmanned aerial systems, counter unmanned aerial systems and anti-tank missiles. It can function by itself or be integrated with other broader defense systems like of course the Iron Dome. It uses a fiber laser to generate a laser beam to destroy an incoming airborne target. Each battery of the Iron Beam will consist of an air defense radar, a command and control unit and two high energy laser systems. Besides, of course, you also have the naval air defense system. 
While a naval air defense system is usually used to defend one's own asset, that is, Navy's own asset, given the location and size of Israel, it is also used as an alternative countermeasure for missiles traveling over the sea. Installed on board an Israeli Neva SAR class corvette is the Sea Dome, the naval version of the Iron Dome. It had successfully intercepted a drone over the Red Sea earlier this month, and this was the first of such intervention. These corvettes have two Sea Dome systems, each having 20 Tamirs besides Barak 8 surface to air missiles, which are launched from 32 vertical launch sets. While Barak 8 is a long range, Sea Dome is designed to intercept and destroy lower flying aircraft, anti ship missiles, as well as short range rockets and drones. And then, of course, there is also the Israeli Air Force. Fighter aircraft and helicopters. Fighter aircraft and attack helicopters are another less talked about air defense capability of the Israeli Air Force, along with the surveillance and command and control assets operated by it. The Israeli fighter jet fleet of F-15, F-16s and the F-35 fighters have the capability to intercept and destroy cruise missiles and drones. Israel had in 2021 shot down at least two Iranian drones that it says were heading towards Israeli territory. So yes, those were the A-tiered air defense system that Israel has to protect it in entirety. For the print, this is Snehish Alex Philip. Do subscribe to the Prince YouTube channel for more such videos.